This movie begins with a scene from a war. During this battle, aliens have attacked humans. The super commander of the Earth planet is engaged in combat with the aliens. Among whom, a commander deftly destroys the alien queen ship. As a result, the spaceships of other aliens cease to function. As a result, humanity triumphs and the aliens are defeated. In this way, the fight is over. The commander of the Earth planet, on the other hand, faced a threat. As a result, those aliens are unlikely to threaten humanity again. With it, many years pass in the film. Also shown are small children undergoing instruction to combat the invaders. The Earth Squad has devised a system for training these small children. While playing video games, these small toddlers used to receive training. The commanders were chosen from among the learners, participants, and winners of this game. It is also revealed that these children are being prepared for a conflict. This conflict is called Formix because it is fought against aliens from the planet Formix. Two children are featured in the film playing the same battle game. One of the children's names is Ender, and he is a remarkable young man. He was playing a game with a younger boy. Despite being younger than him, Ender effortlessly defeats that child. When that older youngster notices that a small child has overcome me, he becomes enraged. And a brawl ensues between them. Meanwhile, it has been discovered that all of the youngsters have a chip implanted in their necks. It's also utilized to manipulate and read a child's psyche. Officers were also present at the scene and witnessed the occurrence through a gadget. Officers then summon Ender to their office. As Ender enters the office, the chip is taken from his neck. As a result, Ender believes he is no longer a part of Formix training. As a result of his enthusiasm for this system, he loses his heart. And he was desperate to be a part of this military operation. Now Ender emerges from the office, where he was being threatened by nasty youngsters. Who Ender had a problem with. Ender was becoming enraged by those boys, and as a result, Ender's conflict with them resurfaced. And Ender defeats those lads on his own, demonstrating his abilities. The officers were paying attention to everything. They had no idea that the officers were watching their every move during their brawl. After that, he returns to his home, although he is terribly disappointed as he does so. And his family reassures him, stating, it doesn't matter if you're a member of Formix to defend Earth. You may also help the environment in other ways. Meanwhile, officers are spotted approaching Ender's home. They announce that Ender has been selected for the show. And Ender was taken aback rather than satisfied with the outcome. And the officers inform everyone here that the chip was taken from Ender's neck because they wanted to see the true character of Ender, because the chip A. They also inform Ender's family that he has a wide range of skills and abilities. And Ender knows how to make the best use of his strengths and capabilities. Those cops tell Ender. You are really daring. We require people like you to help us complete our mission. The next scene shows Ender getting ready to go to battle school. He received his basic training here. First and foremost, when Ender arrives at battle school, he encounters a colonel. Following that, each child is introduced to their training officers. All of the officers here explain the rules and regulations to the children. And they are also given a video clip that is related to that conflict, the war that was depicted at the beginning of the film. Then all of the children were relocated to a chamber with no gravity. It was a space area that was also known as the battle room. Because children are taught to fight here. Because Ender was executing his tasks flawlessly, all officers began to believe in his talents. And they believe Ender is the same youngster who can defeat their foe. It is instilled in all of the children here that it is critical to understand the enemy's strategies in order to combat them. When we understand the enemy's strategy, it becomes easier to combat him. Many martial skills are also taught to the children here. Many months had passed since Ender had started training at this academy. Ender has picked up a number of useful talents while he was here. However, he still felt that he lacked in his training. He used to believe that there was something he wasn't being taught. Ender intended to learn the military abilities, methods, and tactics that previous commanders had used to win the war. These talents, however, had not been imparted to them during this training. Now it can be observed that Ender is playing a game on his computer that no one else in this place has ever played. In this game, 
Ender was a rat. And in front of him were two cups, one of which was poisoned, and he had to choose one of them. If he picks the wrong glass, the devil will consume him. Ender chooses one of the glasses, the proper one, but it is poisoned as well. As a result, Ender realizes that this game is a trap, and Ender resumes the game. Rather than choosing any glass, he attacks the standing demon's eye there. He then kills the demon and completes the level. Officers were ecstatic when they saw it. Ender is also pushed among the older children. Salamander was the name of the squad with which Ender had been promoted. Here, Ender meets the captain of this army, Bonzo, who had enraged him by throwing his gaze on him. Because Ender was a naive youngster. And Bonzo had given his squad's first level while training it. And he views Ender to be ineffective in his team. Because he was still unaware of Ender's talents. Why aren't they being taught about the war strategies? In response to this question, commanders show him a video clip from the war. While watching this video, Ender asked the commander a series of questions, to which the commander responded by answering all of them. Ender notices that once the alien queen ship was attacked, all other alien spaceships came to a halt. The commanders respond by telling them that formics are similar to ants. As with ants, these aliens have a queen who leads them. If their queen is murdered, Commander assures them, all aliens would perish. Ender is shown in the battle room in the following scenario. Where Ender had to educate the weapons how to be used. They could wipe out the Fomix one by one with that weapon. It's your final training, Captain informs Ender. Following that, you must defeat the Formix. Ender was ecstatic to begin his training. And all of the officers and commanders were standing around watching him. 
Ender's team was stationed at the base when they noticed that many alien spaceships were approaching their planet in order to protect it. After seeing multiple alien ships, Ender tells his squad, attack them with that powerful weapon. As a result of this massive weapons attack, extraterrestrial ships are destroyed. However, they were still unable to win the war. After their onslaught, many alien spaceships emerged in front of them. They were also outmanned. It had taken a long time for their powerful weapon to be loaded, as a result, Ender tells his crew, cover this weapon, and go in their spaceships. So that the onslaught of the Formix does not ruin their weapon. Fotramix assault people here, with many seated humans in the vessel becoming victims. Ender's weapon, meanwhile, had begun to charge. He tells Petra that they might attack. Because to this onslaught, the entire planet of the Formix is destroyed. And everyone has died as a result of the attack. After that, Ender was overjoyed because he had successfully completed his final training task. Simultaneously, it is shown on Ender that it was neither the false war nor a part of their preparation. It was, however, the true fight. In reality, he had destroyed that planet and its population. But he was depressed as if he had ruined the entire globe. In his sleep, Ender sees Formix Queen approaching him in his dream. He wakes up right away and goes to the battle room with his companion Petra. Where the planet of the Formix may be seen. When he arrives, he discovers that his dream was true and that their queen was still alive. And through his consciousness, that queen was in contact with Ender. It is vulnerable to Ender here because they are not our adversary. They were in peril, so they landed to the planet ETH to seek humanity's assistance. And they had been victimized by the earthly people, who saw them as their adversary. At the beginning of the cinema, a young Michael is seen visiting an old house with his parents. Michael's mother was expecting a kid, and Michael's parents were pleased with the prospect of their child's coming. As a result,